Hello everybody and thank you very much for joining me on this quick little live stream today. Um, I was demonstrating last evening at an art local art group and they'd asked me, they actually give you a title before you go and they'd actually asked me to talk about light um, and aspects of light and so whilst yesterday I was thinking of what I was going to talk to them about I was reminded of this little article that was in the Artist and Illustrators magazine back in 2014 so it took me a while to find the magazine it was in a, a big pile that I keep of these so if you don't have if you don't get this one it's called Artists and Illustrators uh, and it was when they were doing the film about Turner and they, they've got this article about how Turner, oops, sorry, <laughs> I'm dropping things, I've not got enough hands, sorry about that, I should start again. Um, so yeah, the, this article basically shows, you'll see here, that they use the three primary colours, it tells you how to do it, um, and I will come back, and sh so I did this demonstration last night, but I will come back another day and do it for you as well. So basically you wet the paper, as you can see it's done a little pencil line um, of a very loose sketch of a landscape. You wet the whole paper and then you get three different primaries um, and just put them quite randomly on the paper and then allow them to sort of merge together, add a little bit of extra water and leave them like that. And that's like an underpainting. So the picture that you're seeing there in the magazine is like an underpainting and once that's dry you come back and then paint on top of it. So I will show you the demonstration piece from last night. I'll just pop that magazine out of the way. Sorry for my videoing, editing using my phone but as I've explained before I don't have Wi-Fi down here so I just use my phone when I do these little quick live streams to tell you what I've been doing. So basically I started it like that. Um, wet the paper all over. This is a Saunders paper and used alizarin crimson, gamboge and cobalt blue and put it quite randomly, left it to dry for quite a while so it was completely dry and then I've come back and put the same three colours on the top um, to make this little landscape. So I've kept it very very simple, started at the back with this distant hill here just with um, some cobalt with a tiny touch of the alizarin to make it a bit purpley to send it into the back. But you can see where the yellow was underneath and where the red was underneath and the blue, that shines through your next layer of watercolour and it gives you that impression of the light coming down here uh, and this maybe being shadow. So that's where this technique comes in to giving you, give you this light that's kind of bouncing around your painting um, and you've you've already got something to work to with your light with your tones. Um, so here again, I've just put one wash over the top of this mountain here, but because those other colours were randomly underneath before, it looks like we've got much more structure there than we've put in. And I've kept it simple as we've come to the foreground. Um, if we do this another day, I'll probably use a lot more colour, but uh, I just used those carried on using those three colours and just kept the emphasis on this little barn really and again I've, I've put some stony colours on the top I've put some um, greys and browns on but we've still got those yellows coming through as if we've got the light on the side of this little barn here so it was just to show you that little article really um, from Artists and Illustrators magazine that I found and to show you what I'd been doing last night at this uh, demonstration and also what we've done this morning so um, I will come back and do that in a full length video um, probably next week. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.